building this oh, this place it doesn't make much sense 
Like, while I know this isn't the same room as before, it still feels familiar. It's more like a fictional place than the real world. It's, uh, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago.
Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. Can you hear it? There is an insidious force moving through your media, weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called Mind Tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and to prepare you. Close your eyes and imagine that you are a cloud floating over the city. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Pause. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. Imagine a kill drone weaving between the buildings. Hold. The drone looks up, seeing the dark cloud. Breathe out. It starts flying towards cover. Pause. Bang. Lightning blasts it to sparkling pieces. Breathe in. Breathe is vital to life. In order to project deadly force with precision, a receiver temporarily becomes one with death and pauses the breath.
America had its first conflict with radical Islamic insurgents in the Philippines in 1899, when they politely asked the Moro people to stop enslaving Christians. U.S. soldiers were used to fighting enemies who would surrender when shot, or at least make some attempt at self-preservation. The Moro swordsmen were different. 38 caliber bullets didn't seem to stop them at all. If anything, they just made them even holier. Soldiers favor the direct approach, so they asked for bigger bullets. But how big exactly? Colonels Thompson and Lagarde performed a series of controversial and morbid tests to determine the stopping power of various by firing them into hanged human bodies and live cows. After two days of tests, they decided that the new 1911 pistol should fire 45 caliber rounds. Now, Thompson later designed a submachine gun, a nickname the Tommy gun, that fired those same bullets, presumably to defend against attack by 30 to 50 feral cows. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance.
Indecision and anxiety are the natural result of disordered thoughts. Ideas have weight and potential. They exist in a sequence. To other concepts that proceed and, and follow them. Mental exercises will forge these broken links into an unbreakable chain to harness your will. This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. Maintain focus on your breathing. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Good job. Past events that have caused recurring negative thoughts and emotions are called mental trauma. This was often the result of a sudden shift in perception. The blocks of our self-concept are about the world and our place in it. When these ideas turn out to be false, it causes a chain reaction that can threaten every aspect of our life. While removing one brick from a tower can cause it to collapse, that does not mean that the problem was widespread. Failure in a single element. This demonstrates how critical each belief is, and how finding and removing false beliefs early can prevent a catastrophic chain reaction.
This is my last will and testament. I leave my car to Claire. It has the service light on, but it runs okay. I hope it helps you more than I ever did. Whatever's uh, left in my bank account can go to my dad. He can decide what to do with it. Um, to whoever finds this, uh, just put my body in the trash. It's where I belong. Mike was starting to think about suicide a lot after losing his manufacturing job and decided to defend himself against the threat by, by keeping ammo out of the house for a while. Now, it still tried to kill him by pushing him out a window. When he woke up in the hospital, surrounded by his family, he began to learn the truth. He would never tell a friend that they should die and be thrown in the trash. Never, ever, no matter what they did. So why would he say that to himself? The truth is that he wouldn't. That had always been the voice of the threat, trying to murder him. When he learned to recognize the voice of the threat, he started to learn how to fight it, and took a step towards becoming an awakened receiver. He became a social worker and found meaning in helping others in his local community, especially those who could not see their own value.
threat has studied our weaknesses in detail and knows exactly where to place its levers and pry our minds apart. They use social media to divide us and control us while, while the, the illusion of community. They grant power and responsibility to the weakest of us, giving us the illusion of meritocracy. We have been coasting through existence with our eyes closed, and now is our last chance to awaken. One tool used by the threat is called the anti-pattern. The threat cultivates an atmosphere of terror and anxiety around trivial risks, providing a suitable environment for them to inject fixes for these non-problems. Invariably, the actual purpose of these solutions is to create new issues that were worse than the initial situation. By associating the search for solutions with new problems, the mind becomes locked in a hopeless state with no clear path forward. We have developed a mind attack for people trapped in this anti-pattern. Like a hall of mirrors, this construct is based on illusion and is easily shattered. Imagine that you have changed your mind about something you would never doubt. Act like you believe this new truth for an hour, a day, a week. Do things make more sense? This is the feeling of breaking free. People with high exposure to media show many symptoms. Listlessness, 
inability to focus, a feeling of dread and hopelessness. The inversion of values extends to all aspects of life. The media tells you that distant, abstract events that have little to do are the most important. The implication is that your own experience and existence is meaningless. The opposite is true. Your only connection to reality A is through your mind's eye. Instead of looking out, you will get the most critical information by looking inward. To the extent that the body is an extension of the mind, it is the primary aspect of physical reality. Focus attention on the shadow body. Look inward. Listen. The Sig Sauer P226. Now, now, recently someone asked me, uh, what is Sig anyway, and why is it so sour? Well, as everyone knows, Sig is short for Schweizerische Industriegesellschaft, uh, ish. Uh, they're a Swiss industrial company that started manufacturing Swiss Army rifles in the 1800s, which, unlike their knives, did not fold down into a compact size. By the 1970s, Switzerland was a world leader in mass-producing intricate mechanical components, like watches, but their neutrality laws prevented them from exporting firearms. To sneak around this restriction, SIG bought Germany's oldest arms manufacturer, a J.P. Sauer & Sohn, and created SIG Sauer. Now, this was a German company, so they could now export as many firearms as they wanted. They combined their pistol technology from the SIG P210 with Sauer's technology from the Nazi Model 38H to create the SIG Sauer P220 pistol. Uh, basically an updated 1911 with a double action trigger and a detocking lever. Well, almost exactly what America requested for their XM9 pistol trials in the 80s. So, the new SIG Sauer P226.
You are finally prepared to hear this message. You see reality painted in shades of black, but beyond your world is another, bathed in radiant light. We have reached out to you with a warning. If you are able to hear our message, you are one of the few that we can help. We call you receivers. The receiver who is speaking was chosen because he is able to hear us with exceptional clarity. With time, you too could learn this mind tech, but time is not something we have. There is a threat to everyone on your planet, and they have been weakening your mind through your media, lowering your natural defenses. The coming attack is unavoidable. All we can do is prepare. I tried to tell you. I tried to, to get support. I did everything they said I should. And it didn't work. It didn't work. This, this is all your fault. All of you. I hope you all finally understand what you did to me and hate yourselves for it. See you in hell. When Greg's anger started to build after a humiliating rejection, he asked one of his friends to change the code on his gun safe so that the threat couldn't get to them. When the threat controlled him and tried to get the code back to take revenge on the world, his friend refused, and they fought and were arrested. When Greg resumed his receiver training, he learned to direct his anger back towards the threat where it belonged and how to channel that energy into reshaping his life and defending against the mind kill. He took up parkour as a hobby and found that moving his body really helped calm his mind. He eventually started a successful business teaching parkour to children, rebranding playgrounds to appeal to the next generation.
Some receivers believe the message, but are unable to hear the source themselves. Uh, we have developed a mind tech called ClearTape to aid you in your receiving. Your subconscious mind has been eroded by dangerous, addictive media. To wean you from this addiction, we will train your mind using its conditioned response to your advantage. By providing the correct external cues, clear tape provides a way to reduce the symptoms of media damage. Uh, you will have been issued a clear tape. Put the tape into your tape deck and press play. At first, it is normal to only hear background static. After several sessions, you may hear a voice. Your crude world is not the true reality. Your physical body here is the shadow cast by your transcendent mind. We call this higher plane Reality A and your world of shadows Reality B. If you're receiving this message in a fictional context, you are at an even deeper level, uh, one that we cannot reach. Because your body is a shadow of your mind, when your mind dies, your body will vanish. In the normal order of your world, death is merely a transition in which your mind is set free. But for victims of the coming mind kill, there is only oblivion.
you are on the edge of something much greater. Under ideal circumstances, it is now possible that you could survive the mind kill. When the mind kill happens, conditions will not be ideal. Similar to the training with firearms, your mental defenses need to become second nature, moving smoothly and acting with purpose towards your goals rather than stumbling, reactive, and predictable. Once you have mastered these techniques, it will allow you to achieve the next stage of awareness. The heavy eyelid of your mind's eye flickers. Soon you will awaken.
We are broadcasting directly from Reality A. We have channeled important resources, directly overdubbing this clear tape to send a critical message. The threat has interfered with our perception, and it is only now that we have realized that you are in Reality C. Now, despite this significant setback, we believe that perhaps your ability to hear us at this great distance shows your unique potential. Once you reach a higher level of clarity, we will be able to reach you more easily. You must be resilient.
I did my best. I know uh, it doesn't seem like it, but I, I really did. I uh, hope you believe me. I tried and tried and and tried and nothing, nothing ever worked. And you all hate me. Maybe, maybe I deserve it. I always, always tried. Thank you.